your roadmap to the latest in auto, welcome to Highway Herald. In the ever-evolving landscape of electric vehicles, China stands as both a pioneer and a battleground, where success and struggle intertwine. Today, we delve into a pressing issue, the rising tide of Chinese EV makers facing bankruptcy, leaving behind sprawling graveyards of ambition and innovation. Number 9. Supply Chain Challenges and Quality Control Disruptions in the supply chain have emerged as a pivotal factor in the decline of numerous Chinese EV startups. Heightened by the COVID-19 pandemic, these disruptions have caused substantial production delays and increased operational costs. Companies like WM Motor have grappled with soaring raw material prices, severely impacting their financial health. Additionally, quality control lapses have plagued some startups, resulting in product recalls and diminished consumer trust. For example, WM Motors' bankruptcy was exacerbated by incidents of vehicle fires stemming from battery faults. Such challenges underscore the precarious nature of operating in a fiercely competitive market where even minor setbacks can precipitate catastrophic consequences. Maintaining a resilient supply chain and stringent production standards is imperative, yet many startups have struggled, ultimately succumbing to financial insolvency. Number 8. Global Expansion Struggles the enormity of the Chinese market notwithstanding, not all domestic automakers can sustainably operate within its borders alone. Many, including industry leaders like BYD, originally planned extensive overseas expansion that has yet to materialize. This ambition faces formidable challenges, particularly in Western markets, where protective measures for local automotive industries are stringent. President Joe Biden's recent proposal of a hefty 100% tariff on Chinese EVs and substantial taxes on related components underscores these barriers. Similarly, the European Union's introduction of a 38% levy on Chinese vehicles further complicates the competitiveness of Chinese EVs against their domestic counterparts. These regulatory hurdles pose significant obstacles to the global aspirations of Chinese automakers, potentially limiting their long-term viability outside of their home market. Number 7. Industry Giants in Turmoil the price war ravages not only small but also major players like NIO and Xpeng. Despite robust infrastructure, NIO struggles with dismal sales and significant financial losses. Reports indicate NIO is losing over $35,000 per EV sold, compounded by an inability to secure adequate sales despite extensive production capabilities and a large workforce. Amidst economic downturns and tightening consumer spending, many industry giants find themselves in dire straits, unable to meet supplier payments. With such financial pressures mounting, speculation grows over NEO's future, with bankruptcy looming as a distinct possibility within the next decade. Before we delve deeper, we'd appreciate it if you could subscribe to Highway Herald. Your support fuels our passion to create more content like this. Now let's explore number six, surge in company failures. We witnessed a significant wave of bankruptcies in 2023, with over a dozen EV startups closing their doors. Experts warn that this is just the beginning, forecasting 2024 to be the most challenging year yet for Chinese EV history. Gan Jiayue, CEO of Geely Auto, predicts a comprehensive industry shakeout ahead. As competition intensifies, many manufacturers face an uphill battle for survival. Jiayue suggests that the Chinese EV sector is entering a new phase requiring economies of scale and brand differentiation for sustainability. Meanwhile, Yin Tong Yue, chairman of Cherry Auto, describes the industry's current state as a life-or-death race, announcing plans to launch nearly 40 new electric vehicles. Overall, a consolidation phase has commenced, likely spelling doom for companies overly reliant on government support. Experts foresee a brutal year ahead, with numerous small to medium-sized companies facing imminent closure. Number 5. Market Oversaturation The market's core issue is oversaturation. Despite China's expansive automotive sector, it struggles to accommodate the influx of competing companies. This year, the debut of over 110 new electric vehicle models illustrates ambitious growth targets that may outpace practical feasibility. For example, BYD, Huawei's Aito, and Li Auto aim to collectively deliver 2.3 million vehicles, exceeding industry projections of 2.1 million EVs. This surplus fuels ongoing price wars, with new models entering daily. Entrants like Xiaomi with the SU7 sedan escalate competition, targeting Tesla and Porsche in the premium EV segment. Likewise, Huawei's electric vehicle launch, developed with Cherry Auto, marks their challenge to established leaders in the EV market. Number 4. End of Subsidies Era 
China's rise as an EV powerhouse is no accident, but a meticulously planned endeavor spanning decades. Beginning in the early 21st century, amid China's economic surge, the goal wasn't just economic supremacy, but also technological leadership, particularly in automotive electrification. The government initiated extensive support for EV makers, leading to a proliferation of startups in the second decade, peaking at over 500 by 2017. However, as the industry matured, a rigorous filtering process began. Subsidies and incentives gradually waned, forcing many startups to shutter. Already, over 400 EV firms have folded, leaving around 90 still operational, a number set to decline further as subsidies phase out by 2025. This gradual withdrawal of support marks a pivotal shift towards investments in charging infrastructure and clean energy. With most firms still reliant on subsidies, forecasts predict more bankruptcies and a growing number of EV graveyards in the near future. Number three, financial strain and payment delays. The current crisis in China has reached unprecedented levels, affecting not only small companies but also major players. Even industry giants like Neo and Xpeng are grappling with severe financial challenges amid a deep economic slowdown. As sales stagnate and revenues decline, the ripple effect extends to suppliers, many of whom face extended delays in receiving payments from these companies. For instance, NIO's payment time has surged to nearly 300 days from 197 days in 2021, while Xpeng has similarly extended its payment period to 221 days from 179 days in the same period. These delays underscore the widespread financial strain permeating the sector highlighting the precarious financial health of even the largest Chinese EV manufacturers. Number two, intense market competition. China, boasting an annual car volume surpassing 21 million vehicles, has become the world's most cutthroat market, especially with electric vehicles commanding a third of the sector. The competition is fierce, compelling even industry giants to slash prices for competitive edge. Tesla led the charge with a 9% price cut a year and a half ago, followed by another reduction in early 2023 to counter local rivals. Chinese automakers quickly matched these cuts, sparking a widespread discount spree across the industry. This price war has caused significant financial strain as firms battle to stay afloat. Recently, Tesla, Xpeng, and Li Auto ramped up subsidies and discounts, eroding profit margins. With profitability increasingly uncertain, smaller players face an uphill battle, potentially leading to further industry closures. Number one, funding shortfalls and expansion setbacks. Securing sustained investment remains a critical challenge for many EV startups, despite initial backing from tech giants and venture capitalists. WM Motor, supported by Baidu and Tencent, struggled amid ongoing financial pressures. The difficulty is compounded by failed international expansions. While some firms entered niche markets, most failed to establish a significant global presence. WM Motors' ambitions in Thailand, Indonesia, Germany, and Spain were thwarted by financial instability, underscoring the sector's vulnerability. The reliance on continuous funding and the inability to diversify markets internationally have proven detrimental. This lack of financial support and global reach contributes significantly to the bankruptcy trend among Chinese EV manufacturers. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe to Highway Herald for the latest updates and insights into the world of vehicles. Stay informed and stay tuned for more in-depth coverage on upcoming developments in the automotive industry.